I think it's just that no matter what else I was doing, I've always believed that I'm an artist. And so I'm creative and I do that. No matter what kind of job I'm doing, I try to be creative. My dad told me a lot of stories about the African-American history and heritage. And he knew about the white history and heritage around here as well. Uh, people would come and sit with him and ask him questions about their families. And my dad would tell me all these stories and I wasn't paying much attention to them at first. And then suddenly I thought, are you kidding me? He's telling me real history. Somebody's got to write this down. <laughs> all God's Children um, was, it covers Waynesville and Canton um, in Haywood County all the way back to Cherokee County, Andrews and Murphy. And the school that I went to was Andrews Colored Negro School, as I said. And um, when we graduated, there was no place for African-American students to go. And so we went to Allen High School. So I did bring in that part of Asheville. Well, this is really an honor to be shown here at, in this exhibit. Um, it's wonderful because the Mount Heritage Center and Pam Meister and Peter Cook, they really have put this exhibit together with all of my information for history and my artworks. And I'm very pleased and honored that that's happened. The Cherokee County Arts Council, David Vowell, they've been so supportive of the work that I've done. Also, the history that I'm um, trying to pass out to everybody. The African American community in this region is almost invisible. So my paintings, my artwork, my writing, everything is to try to uplift people and show that we are here. Um, we're not invisible. I will continue to work to try to tell people about African American history. And it's, all, it's really a shame that there's only one month <laughs> that we set aside for African American history. It should be in the books. All the students should know all about the other races of people and African-American during this month is very important.